This is an extremely important video that I'm about to make and the West needs you. This is an active participation video which is rare these days because most of the, the mainstream media is just reporting on bad news and telling you, oh, there's nothing you can do about it. But this video, you can do something about it. I'm going to show you how Beijing sends Chinese Communist Party members to come to your country in the West colonize your country, break your uh, workplace laws, your tax laws, become, create a form of colony, a parasitic economy within our economy which sucks on the West and is very bad for us. Um, I'm going to expose a milk tea shop, one specific one which is I've spent hundreds of hours investigating. Uh, up here there's a card if you want a bit of context to what I'm talking about and you haven't seen my previous video talking about milk tea uh, shops in the West and how they break all of the rules that there are and they, uh, they lie, cheat and steal, they don't pay tax and they're bad for every country that they're in. Uh, there's a little bit of context. Watch this video first so you understand what I'm talking about here. Now I need your active participation in this video because I've done the investigation, I'm about to provide you with the information uh, and now I need you to go to the Fair Work Ombudsman, I need you to go to uh, any government agency. A lot of the government agencies are blind and a little bit naive to what's going on. You need someone like me to go out and spend hundreds of hours of their own time and investigate and, and get to the bottom of what's really going on in this country. I have started up a Facebook group called uh, Australian Born Europeans which is kind of a spoof of how the Chinese start up their own groups called Australian Born Chinese or American Born Chinese and they have their own little groups within your country. I don't see any reason why I can't start up Australian Born Europeans or American Born Europeans. Um, we can coordinate ourselves within that group. Uh, there will be a link in the description somewhere where you can join that group. We can coordinate what everybody will be doing to try and get this information out. I feel that when you discover one type of business, and I feel like all of these milk tea shops are breaking our laws and our rules, our workplace laws, everything. They're, they are a parasite on all countries that they enter. And I feel it's so important that if we can work hard, I never said it's going to be easy, but if we can work hard to do something about one of them, that will bring awareness to all of the rest of them. And they will all be forced to pay tax. They'll all be forced to hire other people other than Chinese and the discriminatory uh, practices. So let's get on. Let's, let's get on with the investigation. Now... What I'm talking about is Hey Juice. Hey Juice is a milk tea uh, shop. They have uh, opened up many shops all over Sydney. Uh, we have East Gardens, we have uh, Chatswood, Eastwood, we have Carlingford and we have Blacktown. Soon they're going to open up one in Castle Hill, South Village and North Ride. And uh, I've gone and I've filmed all of these uh, shops. If you have a look, all of this footage that you're seeing right now is the Hay Juice milk shops, uh, milk tea shops. They, as you can see, they only hire Chinese. Uh, they don't hire any brown people, white people, black people. They don't hire anyone other than Chinese. Uh, and and this this is pure discrimination and um, it's pure racism and it is how a colony behaves when a colony wants to infiltrate your country and that's what I truly believe this business is doing. So what else are they doing? They, uh, they use WePay, a peer-to-peer -peer transaction uh, form of transaction which is used through uh, WeChat which is a Chinese the Chinese Facebook. Every single transaction which is made through WePay, a certain percentage of each transaction goes back to China. 
and and the balance sheet is held within the Chinese app. Um, the your taxation office does not have access to the balance sheet, so they don't know how many transactions are being made. And every single transaction, a certain percentage is being sent back to China. So they're effectively stealing money out of your country with every single transaction which is being made through WePay. Uh, this needs to stop. Uh, WeChat needs to be banned in every Western country because it's a parasite on your economy. And you're wondering why the economy is starting to struggle and China's getting rich. They're stealing money out of your country. They're effectively taking a tax from every single transaction within your country and sending it to China. That is absolutely ridiculously offensive. Uh, they use Easy. They prefer not to use Uber or uh, uh, Uber Eats or they, any of the Western uh, uh, delivery services. They use Easy which only hires Chinese people, surprise, surprise, they get paid through WePay as well, so all the transactions there all go back to China. So, Easy, again, is a racist form of delivery service. You see how the colony, uh, the colony only hires other colonists, and this is how a colony behaves. They create an economy within your economy. So you've got uh, only Chinese businesses using only other B2B businesses within your country and sending a tax back to China. What's the definition of a colony? Well, this is what it is and it needs to stop and, and uh, it's, it's very important that you guys understand what's going on in your country and why your economy is struggling. There's a Chinese contract which I, was ma I managed to get hold of. What I've done is I planted uh, someone within uh, hey Juice. It took a lot of time and effort, but I planted someone within Hey Juice, and they're still there right now. And they gave me the contract, the workplace contract. And here it is. Uh, it is all in Chinese. <clears throat> it breaks all of the laws that uh, a basic contract should have. It's not fair. It doesn't have uh, proper dates, addresses, it doesn't have the owners. It's not in English, firstly. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a law, but it should be a law. Imagine, <clears throat> imagine this. Big businesses, because China's the biggest economy in Asia, big Chinese businesses start uh, dominating and creating monopolies within Australia and America. Just, just say an example. <clears throat> And you have, the, you have the option of being, one, unemployed or signing a, a Chinese contract which you cannot read with all these unfair clauses in it. What do you do? Well, you have to sign it. So what we need to do right now is we need to ban uh, all contracts that are not in English. We need to do it now. Because what will happen in the future is soon, then we'll have to hire more Chinese people to translate Chinese contracts within our own country and then they get more jobs. How unfair is that? Uh, and, and then next thing you know, maybe we'll have to change the judges uh, and the, the civil service uh, or, or the civil courts, they'll all have to be able to read uh, Chinese. You see how this is happening and the colony is trying to take over uh, the entire country. They're doing this everywhere they're going, by the way. So this contract, there's a part of this contract where they state that the first 24 hours, uh, <clears throat> the employee does not get those 24 hours paid up front. They will only get it if they last six months on the job. So part of the scam here is that this employer will hire people on visas or student visas or work visas, something like that, uh, pay them cash and uh, maybe fire them before six months is up and pocket the 24 hours up front. You might not be able to translate it, but that's what the translation means here. Another thing is, uh, that well that's an illegal contract. 24 hours kept for six months, that's really unfair. It's an illegal contract. Pay. They get paid $12 per hour. 
and only after a long period of training where you can become a manager to manage one of these stores on your own that means opening it up in the morning starting everything up and closing everything closing locking everything up at the end of the day you will get uh, 15 dollars an hour so 12 dollars an hour plus the uh the 24 hours you don't get paid uh when you start and only when you're experienced you will get paid 15 dollars an hour now, all of these businesses have this, all of these Heiju stores have this same structure uh, and it breaks our workplace laws. I, I called up the Fair Work Ombudsman and they told me that all of these, uh, everything here is illegal. <laughs> um, and that's where you guys come in. I need you guys to call up and do something about this because I can't do this all by myself. Now, it's under the minimum wage, uh, and also they pay cash. Now, what they do is they pay with cash, All what he does is he teaches each of his employees to get an ABN, and he coaches them. He says, what you do is you fill in that you are a trading assistant. Uh, to get their ABM because uh, their ABNs are being rejected and so he's figured out that trading assistant is how he can get all of his employees a uh, an ABN and they can invoice him $12 an hour. <clears throat> now the thing here is that on the ATO website it clearly states that this is illegal. This is tax fraud. He's breaking our tax laws and skirting around our laws. He should be paying PAYG. Uh, the employees uh, should be getting paid at least the minimum wage. They should be getting paid more on the weekends. They should be paid penalty rates. Uh, overtime, they should be paid superannuation. This is another thing. So there's all, every one of these businesses are a parasite on our economy. Because think about this. He's pocketing money that needs to be going to my government to pay for hospitals and schools and police and fire you know the fire brigade that is uh, keeping Australia from burning down right now that's money that this guy should be paying hey juice should be paying taxes to my government to help my country and he's pocketing that money and Australian people are going into this business and buying juice from someone who is breaking our laws. Superannuation, he's not paying superannuation. That means that superannuation is not going into superannuation funds and they're not investing it in the Australian stock market. This is why the Australian stock market is struggling at the moment and the Australian economy is struggling at the moment because we've got so many parasitic businesses like this that are uh, loyal to Beijing and the Chinese Communist Party and not loyal to Australia. Another thing he does is he tells, uh, the, the owner of Heijus tells all of his employees if anyone asks how much you are being paid he coaches them to not say how much they're getting paid. Just say oh look it's personal I can't tell you how much I'm getting paid per hour. The reason why is because he's breaking out laws. Now, it's not fair for other businesses which are next door because this cheating business who is not paying tax, PAYG, not paying superannuation penalty rates, uh, is able to hire more employees for less, therefore is having a competitive edge over good Australian businesses that are doing the right thing. We need to stop this business right now. And the most frustrating thing about this is that cheating Chinese businesses who are loyal to Beijing and they're not loyal to us. These cheating Chinese businesses are gaining political power within my country and my politicians are falling for this con artistry. Now let me show you a little bit of a talk which an Australian politician gave on Sydney Today. Sydney Today in my opinion is, well I think I've proven uh, the Sydney Today is a, it's a huge classifiers and uh, media organization operating in Australia. They 
uh, have direct ties to Beijing. They're a Chinese Communist Party run. Uh, they're, they're a foreign foreign media agency and it classif uh, classifieds as well. Now, David Coleman, David Coleman gave a talk where he explained how important Chinese businesses are to Australia. Let's watch this first. It's also important to note that our immigration system is, is non-discriminatory and it's not based on a, what country people come from, it's based on um, the contribution they bring to our country. And that's what, that's what matters in Australia, is, is the contribution that people uh, bring. And so many millions of people throughout our history have brought such uh, uh, fantastic contributions. It's also, immigration's also been very important for our economy. So today, there are about 1.4 million people in Australia who are employed by migrants. So migrants who set up a business on coming to Australia and then hired people. There's about 1.4 million people in that situation in Australia. And in fact, about one in three small businesses um, in Australia um, was started by an immigrant. So this is a very, very important part of our economic success. And we see so many examples um, of that uh, around, uh, around the nation. Um, in the Chinese community, people who have immigrated from China, um, there's about 68,000 uh, businesses in Australia started by people uh, who immigrated from China, um, employing huge numbers of Australians, a very, very positive um, part of our uh, economy. And, of course, we also have people um, with very high levels of skills who have immigrated to Australia, who have helped to develop our uh, economy. Um, and in, in bringing those skills and in investing in Australia, they have helped to grow uh, the economy and to create more jobs and more opportunities for the broader uh, Australian uh, community, which is a very, very positive thing. So we should uh, celebrate those economic successes from our immigration program and we should be proud of, uh, of what we've achieved. Now, my problem here is, well, there's multiple problems with what he had to say, how many of these so-called good Chinese businesses that are bringing so much money to Australia are not paying tax and exploiting workers, uh, lowering the minimum, minimum wage for everybody because we have so many of them. They have a competitive advantage over so many good Australian businesses. How many are cheating like hay juice? How many? 40,000? How, how many out of, out of all of the businesses that David Coleman re, uh, believes is uh, doing such a good thing for Australia, how many of them are cheating and are loyal to Beijing and are officially colonists and parasites on our country? How many? Now, I've exposed, I exposed the, the, beg, the, the begging monks I was the first person in Australia to expose them and it took almost two years for the mainstream media to do something about it. I exposed the beggars as well. This is the next level. Uh, right now, what I am doing, I hope, I hope the mainstream media catches up a little bit faster than they did last time. I hope this triggers a proper investigation into every one of these milk tea restaurants and every Chinese business that is not paying tax in Australia. We need to do something about it. And, and it will also cause uh, a lot of fear amongst not only the Chinese businesses, but every other immigrant business that is not doing the right thing because every little, every cent of tax needs to go into my government because my government needs to pay to defend this country. And if they're not paying taxes, they're weakening my country from within. They're weakening my hospitals, my schools, my, uh, my police, my defense force. Everything's being weakened. And I dare I say it, our Anzacs would be turning in their goddamn graves right now to know that most Australians are still asleep at the wheel here and blind to what is going on here. Now let's continue. Now what I've done is I've discovered that the owner is a guy called Daniel Xian. Uh, this is publicly available. I'm just, I'm just taking a photo that he has already shared on Facebook and anybody in the world can have a look at this photo. 
It's not like I took a, a, a private photo and I'm exposing him. This is how I discovered who he is. Now, imagine this for a scenario. His, his wife might be driving a nice Mercedes or a nice BMW around, around Australia. We're, and she's living the high life through these cheating businesses. Both his children uh, are, are given a good life too. And, and, and his fam he's, he's able to steal money out of the Australian economy and provide his children with a good education and a good future at the expense of Australian children. This is offensive to me and offensive to everybody who has ever fought and died for this country to allow someone loyal to Beijing in my country to prosper at the expense of the Australian people. It's offensive to everybody. No doubt this guy's got enough money to buy property, which is pushing up the property prices in Australia, making it more expensive for real Australians, 18-year-old Australians, because of the divorce rate in our society is destroying our community while cheating businesses like this uh, are killing it. They're buying property, they're living the high life at the expense of us and not doing the right thing. They're, they're breaking our laws. Now, that's another thing they do. They advertise in CCP-rung uh, websites like Sydney Today. Uh, they don't advertise in uh, proper, uh, well, Google or in uh, Western media. They, you don't see advertisements for jobs in Hey Juice in, say, Korea One or Seek. Uh, you only see them in Chinese uh, classifieds because they don't want to hire anybody other than Chinese. Uh, they're breaking all discrimination laws. They're, they're pure racists. And if you look at all the footage, you can see every single business only hires Chinese. They're racists. Uh, another thing they do is they lie about Australian produce. That's another thing which I was a little bit shocked about. They, they say that uh, hay juice is made from Australian made pro produce, but uh, a lot of it is imported from China. So a lot of the money is going back to China to buy produce from China instead of buying locally made produce in Australia. It's a colony. They're, they're building a colony here and it's outrageous. Another thing they do is what they do is it's part of a citizenship scam. They start up a business in Australia, they get citizenship uh, by pretending that they're paying taxes and doing the right thing by Australia and hiring Australians when they're not hiring any Australians, they're only hiring, hiring other Chinese as a colony. Uh, then they get their citizenship, they start up a family, they spend their money within their little colony. It's a colony, that's what it is. And then what they do is they bring mum and dad or grandma and grandpa over here who have never paid taxes in this country in their lives and they become parasites on our pension system and parasites on our Medicare system and just they're just parasites on our economy and you cannot get rid of the pricks by the time they get here. And this entire scam is destroying our country from within. It's a parasite. And then, then, you, have, then you have his wife driving around in a nice car and his children living a, the high life. And then they have this attitude that they're better than you when they lie, cheat and steal their way to the top. It just makes me so angry and it should make you angry as well the thing here is then his children grow up they get a good education they are most probably going to be the next leaders of Australia the next Prime Minister is going to be loyal to Beijing through their criminal parents that only got powerful in the very beginning by cheating we need to do something about this and this is where you guys come in this is where you guys come in. Uh, I've started up the group and I would like you guys to join the group uh, where I can send you the, the contract. The contract is evidence. Uh, everything I've said in this video you could probably write down and contact uh, the Fair Work Ombudsman, the ATO. Uh, we need to contact. If I could at least have 20 of you guys join up with uh, Australian Born Europeans, we can chat in there 
and we can coordinate. Just say we have a few people that uh, will continuously harass the Fair Work Ombudsman to properly investigate this business, the ATO, uh, maybe Fair Work Australia as well. If the ATO can do something about the ABN scan, scam, uh, if we can get the uh, uh, Anti-Discrimination Board or the Human Rights Commission to investigate why they never hire anybody other than Chinese because that is a discriminatory uh, hiring practice. Uh, if, if we can do something about this one business and we can have enough of you guys out there. So just say, just say we have uh, people uh, 20, 30, 40, 50, more the merrier, constantly emailing, calling, knocking on the door, forcing these Australian uh, government agencies to do something about it. We need something to be done. Uh, maybe con uh, calling up talk shows and talking about hey juice. If we can somehow miraculously convince uh, our government organisation to fine shut down, do something, some sort of, do something about this one business, it will then cause a reaction where we will be able to do something easier. It will set a press precedent. Uh, I never said it was going to be easy, but if we, we could have uh, some Aussies out there that will get together and continuously call the media, call these agencies and we'll do something about it, it will then snowball. And then we'll be able to do something about all these other bad businesses that are breaking our laws. Why are the laws there if they're not enforced? I know a lot of uh, Aussie businesses break the laws, but Aussies are spending Aussie dollars in Australia. They're not sending it abroad. And Aussies are not discriminating against other people and doing all these bad things that Hey Juice is doing. So please, uh, meet me in the group. You can email me. Leave a comment below if you want. Let's let's do something about this. This is a very important video for me. Uh, it took a lot of time for me to get this information from the inside. So please don't waste uh, my investigation here. Spend a lot of time on this one. Uh, I'm begging you. Uh, I'll see you guys in the group. And I'll see you guys in the next video.